Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So Coach Chris is here with me today. He did a video on the secret way pros put on an overgrip. Now we're going to do a variation of that today, a different secret way. Stay tuned. All right, so this request or this analysis came from my buddy Brandon Woolsey. Brandon was like, have you seen how Richard Gasquet puts on his overgrip? And when I saw the picture of it, like I showed it to you, um, you're familiar with the way. Mm -hmm. I used to do that when I was in high school and I had no grip left and I had a small quarter grip that I wanted to build up to a half. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I would do. Now, let's, let's show them what we're talking about here. Um, Gasquet, as a lot of you know, has a one-handed backhand. And I will show a picture of it right here as to his grip. We're going to actually try to replicate that for you. Um, let's let's kind of let's take a racket that we have. We have a whiteout here, 305, and we have what he uses, the turner grip. So, Coach Chris, I'm going to let you go on with the turner grip like you do. So. I think Gasquet's racket, though, he adds something to the butt cap itself, so that's why it looks thicker. In order to mimic that, I still bend the grip in half, and then I start from the very bottom and just wrap my way all around. And this time, it seems like he's gone a lot, so he's maybe gone, you know, three or even four wraps around to get it extra thick. So I'm counting, you're, you're, you're in the number three now. That's yeah. the third time and around. And then I'll start up the handle. And then yeah. whatever I have left. How much are you wrapping? You're over wrapping a lot there. Yeah, well, again, he has a one-headed backhand, so enough. So that way it goes pretty much half the racket. And, and then that's it. Okay, let's see what we got here. And then he does his signature just grip it around here because... Gotta love turner grip, you know? Like there's no... They're just so primitive. My assistant here is taking forever. Assistant Normally is... in a changeover, how long do you have again, Ching? Yeah, not enough time to do this. <coughs> That's why he has probably those packs that come in three, and then you have like the actual like... Uh, oh, that's right, a roll of tape. A roll of tape, and yeah. then you can just do it, and then just rip it off, and then you're done. Yeah, because I don't know how anybody can use this thing, seriously. It's just, it's just so secret. So it's 1960s. Yeah, he's got this in store for a while. So if you're like me and get it done fast, <laughs> you can just go ahead and wrap it around. And I'm pretty sure this is how he does it. And again, I think the handle, he leaves a little bit of that tape on it. But I think he also, because it's extended a bit longer here, He's not really holding on to where the tape is, so it's a little bit annoying. But he, this part of the racket is the thickest part, and you can ask Ching what it feels like. Wow, I could definitely feel that knob like literally stick out. I mean, I don't know if I could. Wow, if if this had to sit in my palm, mm -hmm. it would be pretty uncomfortable. Yeah, like I know, I know that this won't slip out yeah. of my hand for sure. Yeah. And I, so I understand what he's doing. He, he basically, in order to get the action that he gets, I mean, he's basically, you know, the pinky in the palm is, is gripping that part. Yep. And then he's just throwing it at it so that he can get the most action on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get this. Actually, I do get this. Yep. That space also makes you relax a little bit more so you're not gripping the racket so tight. Mm. I used to do this, like I said, back in the high school days, because I have a one, 
and I obviously wouldn't triple wrap the uh, the knob there. Uh, I would just kind of go up and basically overlap um, very a lot <laughs> so that it thickens this part up. But the only part that really feels thick is like this part right here. Yep. Like you can definitely feel and see this part is thick and then it thins out right there. Yep. So all the concentration went there. Mm -hmm. hmm, this is actually interesting. And again, he's, you know, one handed. So he doesn't have to use that left hand on top, uh, on the top part of the racket. And he can just leave that bare. Really, it's. He doesn't need it. He doesn't have with two-hander. But for us two-handers, I think it would be different. I'm going to show you guys again. It's not, see, look up here and up here, right? It's covered maybe half an inch. Yeah. Half an inch, half an inch, full concentration here. But okay. he's also doing it quite fast, too. So like in the changeovers, especially if he's playing in Australia when it's really hot and humid, he doesn't have as much time, so he'll probably rush it and then, you know, get that taped up as soon as possible. So that Got way it. he's ready. How much time do you get again? Two minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Cool. So that's the secret way. One hander with a nice big knob, just like Richard Gasquet. All right. So if you missed that, go ahead and rewind and uh, watch it again. All right. Thank you, Coach Chris. I mean, you are always my grip expert. Um, I'm interested to try it now. Try it. All right. Coach Chris, where can they find you? You can find me at CB Chen Tennis. And that's it. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Yo, where are you? It's wet. What, what are you talking about? It's wet. It's barely wet out here. You, it's rain? What? It's not even raining. Come on, man. Let's get some tennis in, dude. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Fine. Jesus, it's not even raining. Okay. All right. We'll try again another day. <sighs> Do you want a partner who's reliable? who'll play with you no matter what condition, player court is the place. They got over 27,000 people who will play with you. Check out playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin and find your perfect partner.